probably the most useful tab in the software to visualize endodontic anatomy and pathology is the oblique slicing tab. So when you click on that, you get the three basic views, the axial, the coronal, and the sagittal view. And as you saw in the earlier videos, by massing over any one of the semicircles and holding the left mouse button down, in this instance, I'm moving the position of the sagittal slice back and forth. Uh, but this function is available in all three windows. So again, uh, you can see now the purple is the coronal slice. And as I mouse over the semicircle and move that um, slice back and forth, it allows you to move that image and line it up with the roots. When you mouse over the circle in any color and hold the left mouse button down, you can change the angle of that slice. So if we're worried about this fused distal buckle root, you can move the position back and forth uh, and then also change the angle of that slice. So now you can better visualize. The axial view is especially useful in looking for bone loss caused by vertical root fractures as well as missed canals. So you can usually see the position of the root canal fillings uh, and the number of them. As you can see, the distal buccal and paddle root were fused in this case, and they appear to be fairly centered in the canal. And we look at concentrate on the mesial buccal root as I manipulate the image up and down. We notice that the root canal filling is fairly well centered in that root, making the possibility of a distal buccal. Uh, I'm sorry, of an MB2 canal unlikely.